I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today, we're reading in Matthew chapter 4, and let's focus on verse 23. Jesus was going all over Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every kind of disease and sickness among the people. Before moving to California, my family and I lived in suburban Chicago. It was the number two least church city in America. And a person's success in Chicago seems dependent upon their willingness to get up early and work late. And so in a word, Chicago is driven. And soon after school began, it became apparent that our family needed to have a Bible study before school. And so we started in Matthew chapter 1. And every day I would teach him something from the next chapter. Does that sound familiar? Because that's what we're doing. And when we got to Matthew chapter 4, I asked, what was the good news of the kingdom that Jesus was teaching and preaching? And my daughter Ruth answers quickly. She says, Jesus died for us. No, Jesus preached this message three years before he was crucified. So what was the good news that Jesus was preaching? The good news that Jesus was preaching is straightforward. God can be trusted to fulfill his promises. 400 years, think of it, 400 years had passed since Israel's last prophet. 14 generations had passed since their exile to Babylon. Had God forsaken His promises and His covenant with Israel? Not in the least. Messiah was standing before Israel, accompanied by signs and wonders. The Bible says Jesus came first to the Jewish people and then to the Gentile because the promises were given to the Jew first. The Jews who believed God's promise of Messiah were looking and they were praying for the Deliverer to come. And Jesus came at the time that God had appointed. And He didn't just heal a few sick people. The Bible says He healed every kind of sickness, including the root of all sickness, sin. Are you searching for a deliverance? Do you feel lonely or forsaken by God? I have good news for you. God can be trusted. Consider the Apostle Paul's words to the church in Rome in the book of Romans, verse 13. It says this, Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. That's Romans chapter 10, verse 13. God has promised never to leave or forsake His children because He was faithful to fulfill His promise concerning the atoning work of the Messiah. Well, then we knew that God's yet-to-be-fulfilled promises to believers, uh, including spending eternity with Him in heaven because of our faith in Jesus, well, those promises can be trusted as well, even though they've yet to be fulfilled. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at www.groundworksministries.com.